Hi Virgo, welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your weekly reading today. As always, please remember that timing is flexible and it may not resonate with every Virgo out there. So take the messages that resonate with you. You can leave the rest. Uh, I'll bring up a couple things in the description box. One, I do give away personal readings each month. Uh, to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. You just need to like and comment. And then lastly, I will have an extended reading link below in the description box if this reading resonates with you. Now, the extended will just be for the love portion of the reading. I do pick up uh, other energies when it comes to career finances. can also be situations with loved ones or friends, uh, but the extended will just be for love only. So with that, let's get started with your reading. Wow, Virgo. These two cards came out. Oh, I don't remember which sign it was for. I believe it was Cancer or Leo. And so if you have Cancer or Leo in your chart, this may be significant to you. But look at this. You have the Nine of Hearts and you have Eternal Love. There's some sort of wish fulfillment happening here for you. Now this can be in your love life. It doesn't have to be. This can just be some sort of wish fulfillment that's going to bring you a lot of sunshine and happiness. So beautiful, beautiful energy here, Virgo, to start your reading. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So below that, you have sacred journey too. So there's some sort of transformation, new beginning happening here for you this week. And uh, my allergies are acting up here, so I apologize for all of that coughing, but Let's pull some, um, I think I got so excited with your two cards, right? It shows me here there's a lot of um, happiness and harmony coming into your life, fulfillment, okay? Even I feel here you have protection, okay? You have angel protection here as well. Now you have number 37, which is 10. And you also have here number 24, which is six. There's something coming to completion here that's bringing you a lot of peace, joy, and happiness. And before I can even get the cards out, you have the Knight of Pentacles here. So there's some sort of message, I feel, or change that is happening uh, this week. And it's creating a new beginning for you. Look at that magician energy. So feels like a very nice shift here that's happening for you virgo this week let's pull your cards see what additional messages we have for you Okay, three cards wanted to come out here. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm feeling here, uh, Virgo, there's some sort of transformation, new beginning here that you are going through. I do feel that there is this energy around you with the Tower and the Eight of Swords. I feel there's an energy here of you uh, being stuck. And I feel there is something in play uh, from the divine here divine intervention here with this tower that is changing things and I feel it's changing things here for your happiness and it may be because you may have felt things needed to go a certain way or maybe um, you have been holding yourself back and I feel what the universe is saying here is no things are going to keep moving forward whether you want them to or not but it feels like a very positive shift. But there's an energy here of holding back. Now, in your recent past, you do have the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Moon card here. Okay? 
So I just get the energy with these two cards is that the universe is doing its work here, right? And, you know, it's an energy where they're clearing um, any sort of confusion or illusion um, of a particular situation here for you. So if there has been a certain situation where you've been feeling stuck or you've been feeling uh, emotional emotional about a, si a situation the universe is taking care of it in some way here with the wheel of fortune and I feel it's a blessing for you there's some sort of blessing that is coming out of your situation now um, in your current energy you do have the full card and you have the ten of wands again I feel there is some sort of burden from the past or something that has been blocking you from moving forward and it is now going to be released. The universe is making sure that that is happening or your higher power, whatever you believe in. And I feel you're going to move forward much more free and happy doing what's good for your soul. There's a whole new beginning here. And uh, so burdens of the past are being released. Very nice energy. This could be in any area of your life, you know, whether this is love, career, you know, money. I'm not really seeing a lot of money on the table. I feel this is more of like, like your soul energy, doing what's good for your soul here. Okay, your happiness, um, doing something here or in moving forward to um, a place of emotional fulfillment. Now, in your challenge position, you do have the Ten of Swords and you have the Devil card. So what I'm getting here is that. There may have been something here in your past that was unhealthy for you, or there may have been something here that you still are thinking about. This can be an energy here of obsessively thinking, or maybe you're still feeling tied um, to this connection, which could very uh, well be because you've got this Eight of Swords energy. So there may have been somebody here that hurt you or somebody did something here and um, you may be still thinking about it but what I will say with this devil card it can be a Capricorn energy but I will say that this was something that was not healthy or this was something here that was keeping you stuck now in the energy around you that you don't see coming you have the eight of cups and you have the four of swords I feel with this energy here is you just really taking time to yourself, taking a break from this situation, really thinking about things and really thinking about what does your happiness look like. This is the Eight of Cups. This person is walking away from those cups and the next uh, card is the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. And that is this energy here, that Nine of Hearts, Nine of Cups here. So I feel it's an energy where um, you're releasing something here in the past. I feel that was some sort of burden that was heavy energy on you. And now you are coming to a place where you're realizing what really makes you happy, what the path is to your Nine of Cups. Now, in your outcome position, you do have, we're going to clarify these as well. In your outcome position, you do have the Death card, Strong Scorpio, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. I feel, um, Virgo, you're going through some sort of transformation this week where you're really gaining clarity of what makes you happy. Um, both emotionally and intellectually. I feel you're releasing some sort of bur burden here from the past, but at the same token, I feel you have universal protection and guidance here in the situation. So some of you, you're releasing uh, some unhealthy uh, emotions here. Some of you may be releasing a relationship here some of you may be releasing just something here heavy you know maybe you've been taking on the uh, I don't know why I'm hearing brunt but uh, you've been taking on the the responsibilities of a certain situation and they weren't all yours okay so whatever that is for you and I feel this for a lot of you, this could be, you know, a heavy load with a relationship, a friendship, maybe a family member, maybe, you know, even could be a workload. 
um, you know, lightening your workload here, but uh, let's get some clarity. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the moon card here, please? You have the justice card. Wow, and you have the eight of wands. Okay, and bottom of the deck here, you have the king of pentacles. Yeah, the universe here is clearing things up for you. I feel the universe is giving you clarity. They're giving you justice, and I feel like they're trying to uh, make you get to a place where you can feel more stable and more passionate here, okay? So I feel like there's some sort of divine justice that's coming in for you. For some of you, it could be a new love. I'm getting that energy, or it can be somebody, uh, communication from somebody here. Uh, you know, it could possibly be the person that hurt you, but I feel like this is a shift, um, a change here towards something new, something more stable, but I'm not going to rule out that it could be a past person here. This person who I feel um, may have hurt you or there was uh, some sort of situation with that. Some of you I feel here, um, you may have had some uncertainty about a legal situation and I feel here you're going to get some sort of communication, uh, maybe even a sum of money here. Okay. Some of you may just get a sum of money for whatever reason um, that's going to help you. Let's clarify um, why is the Ten of Wands here, please. This is in your current energy, the Hierophant. You have the Eight of Swords. And you have the Queen of Cups. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Four of Wands. So this is really about your stability. Okay, structure here, maybe a relationship. You do have, um, you're releasing some sort of burden. You know, you have the Hierophant, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. I feel you, you're you involved in a situation where you were feeling stuck here. I feel you were feeling stuck emotionally, and I feel also um, you were in a, your head about it. And it may be about um, a commitment, right? Something maybe that you put a lot of work into, you were committed to the situation. It can be a relationship here, but it feels whatever it is, you've been car carrying the load of this situation. And I feel like that's what's being released here. You coming out of that stuck energy and walking out carrying hardly anything here, like the Fool card here, and moving towards a new beginning, a happy get, uh, beginning a fulfillment, right, emotionally. There's something here changing, right? There's something here changing, bringing a new beginning. For some of you, I feel here it could be um, money coming in for you, a legal settlement, um, or it can just be some sort of money here you weren't expecting. It could be from the government. You got Eight of Wands communication here. It could be a, a person here wanting a commitment, but there's something happening here that's bringing you stability here with this Four of Wands. It's bringing happiness, uh, could be a relationship. Something here is at play. So I'm going to clarify this Devil card. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Devil card here, please? You have the Page of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. And the hangman okay now remember this is your challenge position and bottom of the deck here you have the devil card again so I'm just gonna start here if this is a relationship the challenge is is that I feel there is somebody here that um, definitely has hurt you it's somebody here where I feel things haven't really progressed and they haven't really given you a lot it feels like an energy here where Somebody here, you know, they were very flirty, um, you know, maybe they just wanted to have fun, um, but their energy is somebody here who didn't share a whole lot with you, you know, whether it is the future or they are somebody, <clears throat> I'm just going to say somebody who could have been selfish or greedy, um, maybe they didn't want to spend money, uh, but, and then the hangman here, okay? I feel there's an energy where there could have been some karma here between you and this person. And this person was blocking you from seeing 
things in a different light, right? A new perspective here, but there may have been some karma with this person that needed to be released. So that is your challenge here. I feel there was non-movement in a situation. Somebody holding back here. You know, if this was not love for you, it can be an energy where, you know, you were really just conserving your money. There may have been a job loss or something like that. Okay. Let's uh, see this energy around you of the Eight of Cups and you have the Four of Swords. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. You have the Three of Swords. You have the Two of Pentacles. Oh, there they are. You have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Three of Pentacles. At bottom of the deck here, you have the Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel you're in search of your happiness here, right? You've been taking some time thinking to yourself. I feel this is also upcoming here, right? I feel like you're really exploring here what's going to make you happy in this situation. I definitely get new beginnings here. I get... Um, an eternal love here and it, it may just be your own self-love it doesn't have to be a particular person though I feel like there could be somebody here coming in right making some sort of commitment or somebody who is able to provide stability now you have the three of swords the two of pentacles ten of pentacles and the three of pentacles so I feel this week what you're really going to be questioning here Virgo is is this a situation that is going to work out right I feel you're releasing um, somebody here or a situation that has been keeping you feeling stuck and now you're more in the energy of I'm going after my happiness, what makes me happiness, which, what is going to make me feel fulfilled, right? Um, I feel, you know, there's definitely heartstrings here. I feel, you know, this is pulling on your heartstrings and you may be going back and forth, weighing your options here with the two of pentacles. This may even be an on and off relationship for you. And then you have the Three of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Pentacles. And I just feel here you're not too sure whether things could work out between you and this person. And I feel like that is what you'll be thinking about this week. Is this a relationship or a connection here where things could work out? Okay, again, really trying to find that happiness here. And I'm going to say there is that possibility you may be dealing with somebody here where there may be other people involved because you do have that five of wands and you have the three of cups. There could be some sort of competition here. But like I said, I do feel like there could be somebody else here for you as well. So that could be uh, competition on your side as well. But if it is not love, it's definitely an, a time when you're taking time to yourself to really think about things. I feel that this could do with money and career, right? Trying to gain your stability and happiness. Some of you may be considering making some sort of home move uh, because I feel that that could be better for you financially. I'm getting, you know, and that might not be for everyone, but let's see here. Some of you too, I feel, may be thinking about leaving a marriage or a relationship too as well. But uh, let's clarify now uh, this. Hmm. We're going to clarify the... Let's clarify the death card. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the death card here? Strong Scorpio energy. You have the page of wands. You have the four of swords. You have, look at that, the full card again. Six of swords, look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have the sun card, strong Leo energy. So Virgo, this is what I'm getting. I feel definitely this week is you are doing some self-reflection here, thinking about your happiness, the direction you're going in. I see big transformation happening here, and I feel it's a energy where logically and emotionally you are realizing this new beginning here this new happiness for you because clarifying the death card 
you have the page of wands you have the four of swords and you have the full card and you have the six of swords so i feel you have the four of swords here i feel after a period of time that you've had to yourself this week that you're gaining that clarity here I feel it's an energy where you're starting to realize what you're passionate about. You're starting to realize what makes you happy. There's an energy here of coming out of something that you are feeling stuck and you're going to feel more motivated, more passionate. This also can be communication from someone here as well. Okay. And it's bringing about a new beginning, okay? You had the full here in your current energy and then in your outcome energy. There's a leap of faith, a new beginning here, six of swords. There is some sort of movement here, moving on from the past, letting go of what was keeping you stuck in the past. And now you've learned from this experience. And now I feel you're finding your happiness, right? You're feeling, you're, you're finding what you really feel joyful about and passionate about here and it may be just within you not necessarily a particular person right i feel like this is more about you and knowing what is fulfilling you and what makes you happy in the situation i do feel there is um some sort of communication coming in for you so i'm going to pull a few more cards Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What else here? Okay, you have the Nine of Swords. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Four of Pentacles. The Strength card, look at that. And you have the Nine of Cups. So I feel, Virgo, there's something here that you're hoping and wishing for. Some of you, it's going to be a relationship. Some of you, I feel here, you know, this is about your money, okay? I will say here, um, I do see you have some worry here on your mind, okay, about the situation. You're definitely thinking about this. You may be not even sleeping at night, but you have the strength card here, which tells me that you are going to get through this, right? They're saying straight, stay strong. Um, because something is working out here, okay? There's definitely an energy here of holding back. So some of you may be hold, needing to hold back uh, with spending, right? Saving your money. For some of you, this may be an energy here where if you're dealing with a relationship, it's an energy of holding back because something is working out here. There's some sort of wish fulfillment here with the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and look at that, the Judgment card. So... If this is a love situation, I do get this energy that this may be your wake up call because there is a relationship, something very fulfilling coming in for you. It can be this person I'm seeing here or it can be a new person. I feel two energies. We do have Mercury retrograde, I believe, till October 18th. And uh, that's when people return. So I feel they're saying stay strong. If this is somebody here you're wanting to be in a relationship with, I do feel there's an energy of this person returning. However, I do feel for some of you, this is a wake up call about your situation. And there is some sort of fulfillment, whether it's in money or a relationship here for you. So it's very positive energy for you, Virgo. You know, this week, like I said, is all about you really figuring out what makes you happy here. What is your wish here? What do you want to happen? So Virgo, I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to look at this past person, their thoughts, feelings, upcoming actions, love messages, guidance, and I'm going to take a peek at new love as well. So I hope to see you on the extended Virgo. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.